to some fresh bra gang. It's your boy, so fresh bra here, and I'm back with another freaking video. <laughs> What's up, so fresh bride gang? It's your boy, so fresh bride here, and I'm back with another freaking video. What's up, y'all? Today is Monday. Happy New Year to every single body. Wish y'all nothing but blessings, love, and happiness in 2023. Period, y'all. So, y'all, it's Monday, and y'all already know I got this new series called Messy Mukbang Monday, where I tell y'all the tea on Monday while I'm eating. So, today I'm eating me some Quizza Burrito Tacos. Correct me if I'm saying them wrong. I'm not sure if I said it right. Hopefully, I did. But I'm eating some tacos, y'all, from this place that I got from some from. And I got this little sauce they have. All that, all that, all that. But without further ado, let's get into the drama. So, you know, it's the new year. So, why not go ahead and start this video off with some 2023 predictions? Now, this is going to be 2023 predictions influencer edition. This We're going to move on to the celebrity drama, but we're also going to talk about the influencers today, too. Because, you know, I want to be more diverse. Normally, I just talk about the celebrity topics. But now we're going to talk about celebrities and influencers. There's a difference. And we're going to talk about them. So, the first prediction of 2023 is that Sasha and Isha will end up fighting. But if they don't, they will most likely be friends again. Now, if y'all don't know the drama between Sasha and Isha, they were friends before, but they fell out because Isha went and hanged out with Ida, which Ida is dating her. Ida and the boy Sasha is dating currently are exes. So Ida and Jano was together. So obviously they split up and Sasha and Jano is together now. But Isha and Sasha was friends, but they stopped being friends when Sasha didn't like the fact that Isha had linked up with Ida. So, they was beefing or whatever, going back and forth. And we're going to talk about that later on in the video. So, stay tuned. Going back and forth over who can beat who. Miss Sasha was in the comments, popping them gums. But, hey. Next prediction. So, the next prediction is he could be expecting a poly relationship with Wuda, Lena, and Ramaya. A poly relationship is crazy. I cannot see that. I don't see that happening, respectfully. I don't think... Ooh, I don't think Lena is snooping that low. No shame. Next one, could Angel and Jets be officially popping out? I'm not sure who neither one of them people are, but hey, could we be spitting a pop out soon? Hmm. Next one, ooh, Lay and Brio might be the next little baby and Jada Waiter. Be so motherfucking for, you know what? Hey, to each his own. Next prediction, do y'all see the Johnson Twins and Brooklyn Queen getting into it again? Now, here's a little slideshow of them two arguing back and forth. I had no prior knowledge of them two beefing, y'all. I'm not really big onto the influencer side of the drama. But, hey, maybe, maybe we might see them getting into it again. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe they grown up and pa move past it. Hey, we never know. Next prediction. 2023 prediction. Instead of Nunu BM... Instead of, wait, instead of Nunu baby mama boyfriend playing father role, Nunu will step up and do more. Now, that's so shady, but hopefully he do because, like, I know he's a young father and stuff. And, you know, with young fathers, you know, they might just not know how to be a father. But when you, quote, unquote, making all this money and you, quote, unquote, doing this, that, and the third, be there for your child. You lay down and made it. So now step up and be a father respectfully. And I said what I said. Bitch. Next prediction. We're going to read, like, one more or two more of these. Will B dot play a Benet face? I don't know if it's Benet or Benet face, or will they get engaged? Child, I don't know, don't care. This is the last prediction. Um, Trey and Naya maybe can work things out since they be around each other. I can most definitely see Trey and Naya getting back together, but who knows? Miss Naya seems like she be on it, okay? And that's just respectfully. But Without further ado, let's get into the topic. So, since we was already talking about Isha, Isha versus Sasha, we might as well go ahead and get into their drama. But let me go ahead and take me a bite. Let me take me a grace. Well, I'm going to play their video first, and then I get into the food. So, what happened was a fan page had posted on TikTok, which said a video of Sasha basically saying on the little video, as y'all see right here, it says, maturing is realizing Sasha would beat Isha ass. Now, if you know Isha, Isha got a very long history record of beating her up. So, 
In my opinion, I don't see Sasha whooping Isha, but you never know, because still Sasha might know how to, you know what I'm saying, throw them bitches. So Sasha was in the comments and said, I don't know what y'all talking about, but little girl in me in these comments, keep it 100. I'm 21, not 10. Another person said, okay, you might be 21, but we all know who winning. She said, yo, they barked it out, stuck in the past, your ass stuck in the past. So then she went in the comments, Sasha was basically just, you know what I'm saying, the comments were saying one thing, and Sasha was engaging. Co Sasha was giving the comments what they wanted, and Sasha, I guess she's not that smart, because what you do is don't feed into the comments. You're an influencer, baby. But, matter of fact, I'm not reading all this. Well, actually, I will. So, another one said, are you serious? I love my girl, Sasha, but we know who winning. Sasha just put laughing emojis. And then somebody said, Sasha, now you know you get dragged by Isha. Don't play. Sasha said, ain't nobody dragging me. And then... Um, Sasha also said, motherfuckers want one fight and y'all treat them like they can beat everybody. Stop playing her motherfucking face. Mm. I mean, pop your gums. No, respectfully, stop playing her gums. You know what I'm saying? You never know. Don't ever doubt somebody. Cause some, you know what I'm saying? Don't let the underdog win. Then Isha had went in the comments on her Messy Maj page and was like, Sasha need her ass beat. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So could we be expecting a fight from these two? Hopefully. Honestly, I want to see that. I want to see. I want to see that respectfully. All right. Next topic, next topic, y'all. So, JT says that she will hold her man down if he got locked up for 10 years. Let's hear it. She was on an interview with this TikToker, and that was basically like answering questions, of course, the interview. Let's hear it. So, JT, you have, you did your time in jail. And when we were talking, you said like a lot of women are in jail. Everybody in jail isn't like a criminal. Some people go to jail for mistakes. Some people go to jail, like, because of men. Would you hold a man down for 10 years? Your man. <laughs> for months, say, like, for real, what you did? These questions up from your <laughs> It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Would you hold a man down? What's up for the 10? Um, 10 years. Yeah. 10 years not really that long. I did 15 <laughs> Like, come um, on. Like, you want some drama. Um, like, you want boom, drama. See, you boom. know what? JT. Mm. Hold up, y'all. <laughs> to each his own. But I don't know if I'm holding out anybody for no 10 years. 10 years? That's a long time. A lot of things can happen in 10 years, baby. Can't promise I'm be loyal for 10 years, respectfully. But to each his own. Let me know in the comments down below. Y'all who didn't somebody for 10 years? I want to hear y'all answers. Oh, I don't say the video. Anyways, next topic. So, if y'all didn't know, Miss Asia Doll and Fabio Foreign, here's the video, was linked up. Asia was twerking on Fabio Foreign. Now, to be in perspective, y'all, what's wrong with this is everybody's mad because they say Asia Doll is passed around. Asia Doll been with all these people, all these men, all these men. Me, personally, I just feel like Asia Doll living life. I feel like people trying to st be stuck on the past. I mean, yeah, I get it. Her and Vaughn was close, but Vaughn. Has, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He's deceased. So she can't just stay single forever. And I feel like people don't realize that. Even though some people say, like, oh my gosh, she needs time to, you know, grieve and stuff. But girl, how much grieving can you do? You have to move on with life, y'all. You can't be just stuck on one man. Now, not saying I agree with Miss Asia and all hopping from man to man, but I just feel like she's just honestly just living life. And a lot of people don't like that she's living life because, you know, that happened. But I feel like we have to move on, y'all respectfully but let's hear so the only problem that's wrong with this is y'all five year foreign has a girlfriend slash baby mama <laughs> so her baby mama didn't like this at all so let's hear what her baby mama had to say here's baby mama okay now right, no, 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 it's embarrassing somebody sent me that shit. nobody knows if somebody sent me that somebody sent me that video i don't follow asian doll somebody sent me that video what you mean somebody sent me that video you moving around acting like you single and you're not. That's your problem. You're not single. And everyone's gonna know that today. You're not single. Sick. Yeah, he's sick now. Cause when they get caught up, they sick all of a sudden. Okay, now I don't know. Now it's embarrassing. I mean, I get her frustration. Like, if you're not single and win a relationship, why is you, you know what I'm saying? Why? Miss Asian I've just been standing in my sockets lately, every video. But I get where Fabio year girlfriend girlfriend's coming from. But honestly, girl, if it really was a problem, leave him. 
respectfully. Anyways, y'all, so we got some more CJ So Cool drama, like every week. So, Royalty and Royalty and her son, Leon, made a video, a Q&A video, where Royalty was asking Leon questions. Now, one of the questions that came up was, do Leon miss CJ So Cool? And, of course, Leon gave his answer. Kamari seen a clip of it on TikTok because it was trending or going viral on TikTok. And Kamari told her dad about it. So, let's hear what they had to say about it. Did you see the video when Leon was like, I'm happy that... We're not with CJ no more. Who said that? Leon. Dang, no, I didn't watch that video. That's cool though, that man. Viral. Viral. It was going viral on TikTok? Yep. Yeah, probably because that's bogus. Dang, all this stuff I, I did I was like, out of all people. Leon, no, I, damn. Mm. Now, all the stuff I did for Leon, never thought he would switch up. And you gotta stop it for him. Oh, wait, you wanna take him down? You can take them down, baby. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. Getting publicly humiliated while I'm over here looking like a freaking suit. <laughs> Put that in the car. <laughs> CJ and Dale will never flip on me or you, right? <laughs> no. Okay, then. Well, you flipped on me before. Yeah. Baby, you baby, baby, you still said that about me. You nah, know I mean. nah, nah, nah. Nah, baby. Yeah, baby, go to the other side. We're going to figure this out. I got to wash my hands. because. All right, here's the actual video of Leon and royalty um, when they was like doing the Q&A. So here. Leon was like, CJ. He was cool, but like on the other side, like, make the side that y'all don't see on camera yet. No. Get out with CJ. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, but I just do push ups now. I mean, Julia, like, doing this like one challenge. It's like 30 day challenge or something. Yeah, so um, they got a little 30 day challenge going on, Shin, but you guys asked. So, how do you feel about the breakup? Mm. Uh, CJ. Well, okay. I don't personally. I don't see nothing wrong with his answer. He answered the question. He didn't say anything bad. He just said what he said. No shade. Come on, you need to stop being messy, little messy ass, little messy ass. You're just a little messy ass trying to start some drama. But um, anyways, I don't see nothing wrong with his answer. I mean, he said what he said. I seen Royce looked a little nervous when he was like, is he okay? Is he good with the relationship? I just feel like the kids not gonna get a real answer until they get about grown or they get in their teenage years. Like they are teens, some of them. But I feel like when they get about 16, 17, that's when we can hear the real drama. They not gonna tell the teen now because they so scurry. But next topic off CJ so cool in them. So Little Nas X announced that he got a son, supposedly. Yeah, Lil Nas said he got a son. He went on the story, he posted a little boy with a little teddy bear, and he said, yes, I have a son, and no, I'm no longer going to hide him from this cruel world. Now, if you know, Lil Nas is troll. So, excuse me, there's no telling if he's being for real or if this is a, you know what I'm saying, a trolling type of set. So, we never really know. If you do have a son, congratulations. If you trolling, I don't really know, but... Until then, congratulations, Little Nas X. Next, y'all, I know this ain't really like a topic. Top, matter of fact, we can go to the topic. Then we're going to let y'all know this. So, Soldier Boy went on live and started ranting about Young Boy and starting some drama because Young Boy made a post saying, Stop the violence. And Soldier Boy disagreed with that. <laughs> Let's see the video. You talking about not paint our nails? We standing on business. I'm the I'm one of the last straight rappers in the game. Everybody got DJ T what up? T what up? K-Line what up? Cozy what up? I'm one of the last straight rappers in the game. We promoting beef. We promoting violence. We not painting our fingernails. What the fuck you talking about? What the fuck you talking about? Y'all could be brainwashed if y'all want to. I'm headshot. What the fuck you talking about? No okay. way. Now, I do agree. No, I don't agree. No, I don't. I do agree that there is a lot of rappers that I feel like is DL. Respectfully. I do feel like a little bit that young boy might be a little sassy. A little bit. Just saying. Just saying. I do feel like young boy is sassy. I'm just saying. Don't, don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. Just hate the message. But I do agree with young boy. Stop the violence. I don't agree with Soulja Boy talking about we promote violence and painting nails don't mean you, you know what I'm saying? 
I don't feel like young boy is sassy because he paint his nails, respectfully. Honestly, I feel like getting your nails done is not fruity at all, personally. But young boy does have a lot of sass when he when it comes to him like talking on his story and stuff. When I seem like this. Anyways, that's beside the point. Um, I don't agree with Soulja Boy I'm trying to start some drama, but Soulja Boy, everybody knows Soulja Boy always is a troll. Soulja Boy always trying to start some drama. Soulja Boy My bad, y'all. Somebody called me, but everybody knows Soulja Boy is a Soulja Boy Cloud Chase. He wanna be unrelevant still. Next motherfucking topic. So, Miss Kim Kardashian is kind of on, on heat right now, on fire right now. Because people was reacting to a viral video that North had posted alleging that Kim Kardashian shows her dolls living in the garage. Now, everybody knows Miss Kim is a very cashy, rich girl. And her being that rich, having her dolls in the garage is crazy. Okay? So, let's get into it. So... It was a video that North posted, but Kim Kardashian, of course, deleted it off the TikTok of her dogs in the garage. Now, people was eating her ass up. So I'm going to read like three or four of these, and y'all can go read the rest on the shade room, but I'm going to read a couple of them because they was kind of funny. The person said, Kim Kardashian got all them old ass dogs in the garage, and they aren't even potty trained. That's crazy. You got all this money, and your dogs ain't even potty trained? Baby, come on, allegedly. Next, Kim Kardashian has her dogs living in the ghetto. As a billionaire, I expect her dogs to be potty trained and have their own mini house with AC. She has them living in a garage with Walmart dog beds and pee pads. Respectfully, you got too much money to be having them dogs in that damn garage with a cheap ass bed. Baby, all them skims money, where is that? Where is going, baby? All these, all these people buying skims? You can't invest in the dog bed? Like, come on, Kim. We're going to read this. Somebody said, people are really upset that Kim Kardashian may keep her dogs in the garage. The garage look clean as fuck. It's huge. Due to location, it's probably not too hot or cold. Not a bad space for pups. Folks worrying about that more than homeless folks freezing is wild. I mean, you know, he's playing devil's advocate, respectfully. I mean, to each his own. I mean, I just feel like, honestly, like the people said, I would expect her dogs to be living luxury. But, I mean, living in a garage, if it's big enough, it's not too cold or too hot, it won't be too bad. But when you're a billionaire, baby, come on, step your cookies up. Y'all can already rest on the shade room. Next, since we're on Kim Kardashian, let's talk about her, this other situation. Kim Kardashian tearfully speaks about co-parenting and shielding her children away from Kanye's divorce. She said, in quotations, one day my kids will thank me for not sitting here and bashing their dad. Let's watch the video. I definitely protected him mm -hmm. and I still will mm -hmm. in the eyes of my kids for my kids mm -hmm. so in my home mm -hmm. my kids don't know anything that goes on mm -hmm. on the outside world and I've how managed how do you do that I've managed to I'm holding on by a thread I know I'm like so close to that not happening but while it's still that way I will protect that to the end of the earth as long as I can like, I will, I mean, my kids, they don't know anything. How? So, with social, they're in school, they're on social. So, they're at school, like, some of my best friends are the teachers. So, mm -hmm. I know what goes on at recess. I definitely feel like it must be a full time job. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah. But, it, but worth it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, worth it because I think that, of course, it, I want to disassociate in specific thoughts and things being said because that's not me but at the same time in my home like I could be going through something but if we're riding to school and they want to listen to their dad's music no matter what we're going through and no matter what is being happening in the world like I have to have that you know mm. smile on my face and blast his music and sing along with my kids and act like nothing's wrong you know as soon as I drop one day my kids will thank me mm -hmm. for not sitting here and like bashing their dad when I could, mm -hmm. you know, like, of course, all the crazy shit that's, you know, not just me. It like, it kills me for my family mm -hmm. one day. I agree. And I'm so glad that she's doing that, to be real. I am so super glad that she is shielding them away, which respectfully, I feel like the kids probably already know. You see how Miss North is always on TikTok. And Kanye West was just trending on TikTok not so long ago. He ain't trending as much no more on my forty page, personally. But I'm pretty sure our kids know a uh, hint. So ain't no way they just don't know at all. You know what I'm saying? The teachers can't keep up with but so much on that playground. 
respect for you. Mm, excuse me. But I'm so glad that it's so nice that she is doing that respectfully. Mm, excuse me, y'all. I got a hiccup, y'all. That food was so motherfucking good. All right, y'all. On our last topic of the day. Last topic of the day is. What is two topics I want to do? So we just do two more. So the first one we're going to do is Jeffree Star speaking out against the Illuminati. Child, you know what they say when you speak on a Illuminati, bitch. They might. Yeah, get your ass. So, Jerry Star tweeted on Twitter and said, Anyone who challenges the system gets eliminated. In 2020, I was going to expose everything. In a matter of days, the Hollywood elite tried to ruin my entire career, big villainized me, and flooded the news with lies to discredit me. If you guys only knew the truth behind what they are doing to Britney and Kanye, what the what a crazy fucking year. I escaped the Illuminati in 2021 and they still haven't killed me. Every day I wake up grateful. That is crazy and scary as fuck. And I believe it, honestly. And it's kind because of, I feel like it's way easier to believe a person about Illuminati when they're, do you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say he, his, his success was overnight. No, but he has so much success. That it's kind of easily easy to believe that everything he's saying is one percent true. Honestly, do we know it's true? No, everything is alleged, of course. But that is some scary shit. Next topic: Drake speaks out after a woman claims that he kicked her out his house for recording. Um, Drake had posted on his story: "Never met, never spoke, never flew." I hope people start doing more with their life. We are giving shit. It's so sad out here. Last month, Drake had flew me out. So I have made a video and I posted it on my Instagram story. It was a video of me inside a purple lingerie set. And I had tagged Drake inside my story. But I tagged him and I like made it real small so nobody could know that I had tagged him in my story. So I did not know that he was going to even seek it. I'm not even going to lie. So he had texted me in vanish mode and was like, what's your number? With the hard eyes emoji. So I sent my number quick. So he called my phone. We chopped it up or whatever. And that's when he was like, he trying to see me. And I was like, I'm trying to see you too. So he had booked my flight for the November 16th. Mind y'all, we texting, talking, all of that, November 13th. So fast forward, I got off the plane. He had sent a private out to get me. But before I went inside his house, they made me sign an NDA. So I can't really say too much, but I had looked up my NDA rules, so I know what I can and can't say. Drake had flew me out. Zip. So when I get in the house, we just sitting on the couch, chilling, talking. He kept on rubbing on my stomach and kept on asking questions like, do you want kids? And I'm like, what you trying to say? Like, if you want, if you want a baby mama, me just say that. <laughs> he just kept on rubbing on my stomach, asking me, do I want kids? I was like, yeah, I want one. I want a little boy. So we watch a movie. We drinking Casamigos. Then y'all know Casamigos bring out the freak up. <laughs> so y'all know we did what we did. I don't have to go in detail about that because it's self-explanatory. But he did not use protection, which was a little weird. But y'all know I'm just going with the flow. So after we did what we did, we just cuddling and we're watching another movie. So everything went left when I pulled my phone out. So I had pulled my phone out and I had recorded him. And as soon as he fit, so when I get in the house and as he seen me recording him, he slapped my phone out my hand. I'm not even going to lie. I got a little scared because that slap was aggressive. But after he had slapped the phone out my hand, he was like, you got to go. I was like. Just because I recorded you, really. But I have posted the video on my Instagram. All the receipts is on my Instagram. So I don't got time for y'all to be like, I'm lying and all of that. Because what do I have to lie for? Has he seen me recording? Child. For one, baby, you was slow. I was thinking not going to record it, baby. If you want to get a video, girl, go to the bathroom with your phone. Go be smart. Like, you, you ain't even sneaky enough. Y'all be fumbling the bag. Y'all be fumbling in the bag. What is your issue? Y'all be just fumbling in the bag. It can't be me. Let me be in that position. Yeah. Like, y'all be fumbling in the bag. I believe it all, honestly. Well, I don't know. Jack, you're so sassy. But, I mean, I believe it to a certain extent. 
I feel like stuff like this does happen. Not saying it happened to her, but I'm not going to say it didn't. So, it could allegedly happen to her, but there's no telling, really, honestly. Give me y'all opinions in the comments. But before we end the show, y'all, I got to show y'all this video. Because it's New Year's, and it's only right to show y'all this month. Play the play the bit. Play the bit. This be the first January 1st that y'all use the correct term. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, year, one year. Why do y'all keep adding that S? Happy New Year's. Y'all want it to be so many years so bad. It's only one year we're going into, baby. Why do you want it to be more than one year? I mean, time fly, but damn. Happy New Year's is crazy. Stop the S. Stop the madness. Leave the S alone. Leave it at home today. Leave it. Leave it. The S really stands for stop. Stop using me. Aww. Respectfully. Like she said, stop using me. Like, when people were telling me Happy New Year's, I was thinking I was saying it wrong because I was like, Happy New Year. And people just said, Happy New Year's. And I'm like, is he? What it is? So I was so confused. I was like, that don't really make sense. Happy New Year's. And I knew I wasn't tripping, bitch. Leave that ass alone. Like she said, yeah. But anyways, y'all, without further ado, y'all, I feel like today was a great show, y'all. So if you enjoyed this video, y'all better motherfucking like this video. Y'all better comment. Y'all better motherfucking subscribe. Y'all better tune in because next Monday, you already know, Messy Mukbang Monday, every Monday of the motherfucking year. I don't know how many Mondays is in this year, but bitch, every Monday on this year, bitch, you're going to be messy. The fuck you talking about? Ooh. Focus my camera back. Ooh, ooh, catch the most. But there we go. But yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, y'all. I'm about to be out, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys. Wishing nothing but blessings and more to y'all in this beautiful new year. Bye.